Hey everyone, welcome back to Keto Asian Flavors. Mid Autumn Festival is fast approaching, so today I'll be showing you how to make keto mooncakes. I chose coconut filling as an introduction to my mooncake series to honor my late grandfather. This was his favorite mooncake flavor. The dough recipe for these mooncakes is the main attraction. It's great tasting and works very well for mooncakes. Fine details are easily achievable when shaping with a mooncake press. These mooncakes will absorb oils from the filling to increase flavor, color, and shine. It is very similar to the non-keto ones. The only difference is, all ingredients are gluten-free, diabetic-friendly, and low-carb keto-friendly. This recipe makes 8 keto mooncakes. Each mooncake is 120 grams depending on the size of your salted duck egg yolks. You can purchase whole eggs like these or purchase just the salted egg yolks by itself. If you are using whole eggs, separate the yolks from the whites and use the yolks only. Today, I'll be using just the egg yolks from the package. Place 8 yolks on a lined baking sheet. Brush on some clear distilled liquor onto the yolks with a pastry brush and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 6 to 8 minutes. In the meantime, prepare the coconut filling. Preheat a non-stick pan on low heat and add in 3 tablespoons of coconut mena, 1 third cup coconut cream, half a cup of swerve icing sugar substitute, adjust the sweetness as desired, a quarter teaspoon sea salt, and 1 tablespoon of gelatin. Mix all the ingredients together and cook until dissolved. Then, add in 2 and a quarter cups of unsweetened shredded coconut and 1 teaspoon of psyllium husk to the mixture. Continue to stir on low heat. Turn off the heat to let cool completely. Add in 3 egg whites and mix well. Make sure the ingredients are not too hot before adding the egg whites to avoid cooking it. Using a digital kitchen scale, divide the filling mixture into 8 portions at 60 grams each. Cover with saran wrap and set aside. Next, prepare the dough. In a large bowl, add in the following dry ingredients. 1 cup almond flour, half cup coconut flour, half a teaspoon of sand and gum, and a pinch of sea salt. Add in 3 quarter cups of allulose to a nonstick pan to make a syrup. No substitute for this ingredient here. While waiting for the allulose to melt, add 1 whole egg plus 1 egg yolk and whisk gently. Cook the allulose until it's golden brown. Add in 1 tablespoon of alkaline spring water. I use natural alkaline spring water by flow, but I think filtered water can be used here too. Next, add in 2 tablespoons of duck fat. And finally, add in the dry ingredients that was prepared in the bowl earlier. Combine all the ingredients and transfer it back to the bowl. When the mixture is not too hot to handle, pour in the egg yolk mixture. Mix and knead the dough. Using a digital kitchen scale again, weigh and form 8 balls at 50 grams each. You will end up with about 22 grams of extra dough. Keep it to patch up imperfections later when shaping the mooncakes if needed. The mooncake press I'm using comes with four detailed patterns. It is used to make mooncakes that are 100 grams. My mooncake recipe is about 120 grams each depending on the size of the salted egg yolks, but it will work just as well for this recipe. In a small bowl, add some powdered almond butter to dust the mooncake press so that the dough will not stick to it and will easily release. Flatten a ball of coconut filling, add in an egg yolk, cover it completely with the coconut filling and form a ball again. After all of the 8 egg yolks are covered with the coconut filling, it's time to cover it with the dough. 
You can flatten the dough balls by hand or roll it out in between two parchment paper using a rolling pin. Cover the filling with dough and form a ball again. What I like to do is to use my tortilla press to flatten out the dough. This process is a lot faster and makes the thickness very even. So if you have one, use it. It will definitely save you some time. To use the mooncake press, first brush it with some powdered almond butter. Insert a mooncake ball into the mold and press it firmly with your palm. Press down and release. Preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and place the mooncakes on a lined baking sheet. Spray some water on the mooncakes with a spray bottle. This is to prevent the mooncakes from cracking while baking. Bake the mooncakes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 minutes. Remove the mooncakes from the oven and let rest for 5 minutes before applying the egg wash. In a bowl, add in 1 egg yolk, 1 tablespoon heavy cream, half a tablespoon of avocado oil. Mix well and then pour through a sieve. Sparingly and gently, brush the egg wash onto the mooncakes using a fine or small pastry brush. If you brush on too much egg wash, you will lose some of the details after baking. Lower the temperature to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and bake again for 10 minutes or until golden brown. If you have lost some of the details from the egg wash, don't worry. You can use a small fine brush to brush on some melted duck fat and then use a toothpick to go over the pattern. And bake it again for 5 minutes. Let cool on a rack and store it in a container for 3 days before serving. You can bake the mooncakes as many times as you wish to achieve the desired golden color. Do keep in mind that it will darken in color after a couple of days on the counter. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you like this keto mooncake recipe. There will be more keto mooncake flavors in the future that I'll be sharing, so be sure to check back. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Keto Asian Flavors for more recipes like this one. Bye for now.